What's up, sis? What's up, what's up with you and dad? Brother, you know, you know, you know, you know our dad. And every time I come around, I try to reason with him. But you know he always got something to say. Yeah, but it's a work in process. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, oh hey, dad. Hey, y'all. How hey, y'all doing? Listen, I'm back. I'm ready to go. I see the food's on the table and stuff. Is it all right if I get a meal? Come on, dad. Stop that. You know she prepared food for all of us. Come on and eat at the table with us. You know, you heard the conversation, I think. And what's well, going I didn't hear on? all the conversation, Dad, but come on, we can talk about it. Come on, we need to communicate. Dad, can you, can you at least bless the food? Well, do you really want me to bless it? Of course she wants you to bless it, Dad. Come on and bless the food. I'm trying uh, to eat. <sighs> well, Father, Lord God, thank you for this meal. And we give you the praise for it. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Now, was that so hard? You see what I'm talking about, brother? Well, it's with the attitude. That's what's hard. The grace is not hard at all. It's the attitude that, okay, Dad, from which it comes with. You may have a point there, Dad. You know, we got to need to work can, on that. Can we just eat? Can yes, we eat? yes, sis. Because this is one of the things, you know, one thing that we usually don't bring a whole lot of argument to the table because we know that when we come here, it's supposed to be in peace. But nevertheless, you know, Dad has to do what he does and I was thinking somebody attacking there him. You go, there you go, putting that cut on him again. Now, that sis, was you're totally not unnecessary. I'm, I'm, I hate to say this, I'm agreeing with Dad on this one here. Because that was just unnecessary. Sometimes you're right, sometimes you're right, sometimes you're wrong, you're wrong. And I'm going to call you on it, sis. You know what? I'm going to call Dad on his too, and just like y'all call me on mine. You know what? I just want to make sure we get here because um, Dad got a place to go. I want to make sure he gets there safely. Well, not because I want to go, but it seems as though that you insist that I do go. And I don't want to be at a place where I'm not one of that. Then, like I explained before, it's not that we did not want you here, but I was not going to continue to tiptoe around you, and my children have to tiptoe around you. It's about us coming to an agreement that we all can live with. It's not your way, and it's not my way. See, you still singing to that same song again. But hold up, Dad. Wait a minute. Now listen, she's got a point. This is her house. And sometimes we know you've been the man of the house for many, many years. But right now, this is her house, and you got to respect that, Dad. You might not like it, but respect it. Hmm. Because she does have a point there. Oh, the same me. way I had to respect it. Oh, let me say something to you. Uh-oh. Yeah, let me get you now. That's what I desire to do in every situation, is to operate from a point of respect. But in order to get my respect, you have to come at me correct. So if you're coming at me in a twisted form, you're going to get something altogether different because I'm going to stay on my ground. But well, we all know that, Dad. We know how you've been living with you for a thousand years. We understand that. No, we haven't been living with him for a thousand years. He well, hasn't been in a home for almost 20 some years, brother. Uh, well, so sis, you, you, you got a whole sis, different picture. Hope, sis, no, but yeah, right, now, you, you don't do. have to go there, sis. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because, because now. Come on, brother. No, I mean, I hear what you're saying, but you don't have to say that. That's the unspoken. No, but that, some things that's unspoken need to be spoken because you, you act like he was here all along. He has not been here all along. Okay? Since you need to let things, some yeah, things go. You, you need to let some things go. You sound like you want to be argumentative. You, 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 you keep on harping on things that's in the past rather than dealing with the things that are present. So to me, you're sounding and coming off like an angry black woman. And you're not sounding like my daughter that wants to resolve and to be able to communicate, you know, it seems as though that you're mind the stuff on just you, not the family. Did he refer to me as an angry black woman? Yeah, he did. I, I, I was waiting for the a real angry I was waiting for dad to call you the angry daughter. You know what I mean? Angry black right, daughter. That's right, what I was waiting for. He didn't even claim me as a daughter part, right? Mm. Oh, wow. We we'll see where that mindset goes. No, but you know dad loves no, you. No, you know no, dad no, loves you and he loves you in his it. own special way. I got it. He loves you in his own special I way. I got it. Next to him. Next to him. Mm -hmm. You know what I meant by angry black woman. Because oh. mm. oh. if you was operating as my daughter, as you were, when you came down to prison and talking to me, I see this, I got, I can't say Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hodge, but you have changed. You talking about me changed. You're not the same girl that was communicating 
to me in prison, something all the other different Dad, than, te than taking place with you. But just like you just said, I am not a girl. I've been a woman for a long time. 20 of those years that you missed. So yes, our conversation in prison definitely, like I said, I want you here. I didn't lie, that was the truth and it still is the truth. But understand this, since you've been home, last three months, my utility bill has gone up, my food bill has gone up. I buy food every other week when I was only buying food almost every three weeks. I, my utility bill has almost doubled. My salary didn't go anywhere. And I know that you, 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 you're um, in a place you, to get income and all that good stuff, and I'm all right with that. But some things you're just not mindful of. Like what? Like I said, eating. You eat the kids' snacks. Uh, every time I turn around, the snacks that I was supposed to put in the kids' milk up in the, in the um, lunchbox, the lunchbox, the, the snacks are gone. Wait a minute. You're getting my food stamps. What more do you want from me? What more do you want from me? So when you bring food in, I'm thinking you're thinking about me and mine. Most definitely. I like snacks too. So how do I know what's for me and what's for the kids? You don't can communicate that to me. So you know what? That is a great idea. I had to specifically say, and I, one of the things that I did not want to do is have to write our names on things. Because yes, we are pulling things together and we're supposed to be eating, have some certain freedoms, but there's things that are called moderation. Sis, hold oh, sis, sis and dad, let me say something, all right? Mm -hmm. Now, hold on. Both of y'all seem to have valid points right there. However... Oh, you're on dad's side. No, I'm not on dad's side. Mm -hmm. I'm on the side of right and what's wrong. Now, listen, I think one of the answers to this can be, okay, sis, dad is supplying you with food stamps, right? And I get that. However, so we might need to buy more snacks, right? That way, we can put some to the side and it's not taken away from what you have to pack for the kids. That way, the kids have a snacks, and that way, because I like eating snacks too, and I probably eat some of the snacks myself. So you're giving dad the whole beef. Well, no, it might it, be me too. It, it is you. Yeah. I'm just gonna get on you too. Then. Yeah, so it is me because I love my snacks too. That's right. So well, let's so let's put put food to this. I mean, the snack to the side. Have my snacks there, dad. And if I have to contribute a little bit more, I will. So all I'm saying is, communicate to me if something is for the kids. Just say this is for the kids. This is for y'all. Uh, you don't need to write anything out. Just, we grown, grown folk. I agree, I agree. Just let me know what's going on. You got a point there, Dad. Now, sis, listen to him. You got a point there. Yeah, he does. He does. Because if we don't communicate with each other, then we're going to be wandering around here with our heads bouncing off the walls. And that we don't do. We've been doing that for them 20 years that Dad was gone bouncing around. But you know so what? So we got to, no, me, I mean, no, but finish, you know what? I'm, leaving, I'm leaving anyhow. Dad, so, so Dad, what? let me finish, please. Now, you just talked about us being respectful to you, right? That same courtesy has to be given to your kids and my sister, you, you're right? Okay. I, I, you got that. Okay, so if we're supposed to have an understanding, which is mutual, then we all have to learn to give a little bit and take a little bit, correct? There's that huffing and puffing, though, again. All right, I get that, but listen to me. So we all have to be okay. willing to make sacrifices. I don't fall apart from the, from the tree. I heard you fall apart, too. Okay. You got me on that. Like hey. You got me on that. So we all got to sacrifice hey. and work together, hey. correct? Because this. this is our family at the end of the day. Okay, so how do we do this? Okay. We got to put our minds together. This? We got to think instead of uh, acting out. Uh, we got to come up with a solution that works for all of us. Well, I'm going to say this, Dad. Please forgive me, because there's just some things, yes, that I failed to recognize or I failed to take in consideration because you are home. And because I don't know what your life had been like, really, I guess if we had more conversations really truly as to what life was like inside, then I could know what to expect. But we have this sometimes, I feel like you just have this whole, you have this whole life, just as I have a whole life that you were not included in. But it's hard, it's seemingly hard for us to integrate and merge those lifestyles. It's almost like we're a blended family right about now. And so, I thought you understood when you were coming not to prison. prison and I was sharing with you how hard it is in prison and how I had to change who I was to be able to survive in prison. And so 
I did things to protect myself. And now that I'm out here, perhaps, you know, I could be better in opening up a little bit more and sharing with you where I'm at at this point. But you have to understand that this is all new to me. After 20 some odd years in prison and coming out and seeing all this change, right. it is very difficult for me to even get into the depths of my emotions and what I'm feeling right now. And so when I seeing you act in the way that you were acting toward me, it reminded me of prison and that I had to be on my guard all the time. And this is the last thing I want to do is to be around y'all with my guards up. Right. Cause that's not conducive for wholeness in no way, shape or form. And dad, that is what we needed to hear from you sharing, right? Because sometimes in life, if we don't know certain things, we can only assume certain things. And I think Sis has done that in myself. And I think that we don't know your, all of your experiences that you've been through. And I'm quite sure you went through some horrific things that stressed you out on a whole different level that we can't begin to imagine. Mm -hmm. So now what moving forward, that we have to be able to communicate, we have to be able to talk about things so that we can better understand what it is that makes you work what it is that makes you tick, and what ticks you off. So I think you sharing and being open right then says a lot about our family, says a lot about you being the father, the lead of our father, and us putting things in order so that we can move forward. Well, I'm not sure if y'all want me to be the lead on this. Why would we not? Well, because so what? Dad, you, you just talked we about living in the past. It. You well, just talked about living in the past, so you can't live in the past neither, sir. Well, uh, and this is not the past. I'm talking about right now, how it's going to be or how it should be, and what has to happen in order for that to be. Can I say this? Well, brother, well, let me, let me, yeah. Yeah. Well, I started off saying, please forgive me. Mm, true. That was what I started off with. Uh, well, See, you get well, ready to interrupt? No, but I need to know something, because saying that might sound a little... No. You don't think she was sincere? Well, I, I need to know this. What do you want me to forgive you about? If you let me finish speaking... Go ahead. Forgive me for making you feel uncomfortable. Forgive me for um, feeling the way that I feel or felt. Forgive me for thinking um, lopsided hmm. or and, and a little bit selfish. I, I, I like that lopsided word. That that, that resonates. Because I bet you do get a smile. Right, right, right. <laughs> and sometimes the way we think on both ends are lopsided, and the only way we can balance it out is if we do. Like we used to do when we were younger, when mom was around. We used to have our round table discussions. I miss you know, mom, I miss mom you know, conversations. When we could just sit down and really say what's on our heart without any judgment, but we could come to the conclusion that what we need to do and how we need to get it done. All right. Does that I, sound like a plan? Yeah, that, I, and look, that, 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 that really. Uh, we love you, dad. Touch. See. Trying to get a cry out. Nah, we love you. We love you, and we need this to work. So we all must work together. That's all I'm saying. Well, well, well. Yeah, I'm feeling that. So let me apologize to you because um, I can come off a little strong sometimes, and um, that's not how I want to come off to you. I really need and desire to communicate what's going on on the inside of me. And so be patient with me. I'm, I'm, I, I, I hear you and um, I'm mature enough to make the adjustments as I said, but now that I know your mindset and the willingness of both of you to want to communicate and to cooperate together, you know, I'm there as well. But then with that being said, can we finish eating? Because I'm still hungry. Can it's, we it's, eat? I love you. Long. I love you, all right? <laughs> My food is cold. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Good. <sighs>